children this is your science period we are doing chapter 7 weather climate and adaptation of animals to climate so today is the third part of it first part you saw the video second we have the live session and there children we discussed about the weather and climate so we'll start up with the chapter with the difference between your weather and climate so what is weather and how it is different from climate weather it is a day to day condition of the atmosphere at a place whereas a climate is the average weather pattern which is taken over a long time weather it can vary over very short period of time whereas your climate is does not vary in short periods weather cannot force adaptation in the organism whereas your climate can force adaptation in the organisms so this is how a weather is different from that of a climate children we were talking of the climate and as i told you climate is of three types one that is your hot and dry climate which is basically found in the desert second one hot and humid climate which is in the tropical rain forest last is your extremely cold that is your polar region so children as you know the climate is the average weather pattern which is taken over for a long time maybe 25 years of a place next term that comes up is your adaptation because today the topic that we are going to start up with is your climate and adaptation so what is adaptation it is the presence of specific features and the habits which enable a plant or an animal to live in a particular habitat so when we talk of climate and adaptation climate has a profound effect on all the living organisms and animals are adapted to survive in the conditions in which they live animals when living in very cold and hot climate they have special features for protecting themselves against the heat and the cold of this climate so the features and the habits which help these animals to adapt to their surroundings are the result of the process of evolution evolution means the changes which are going on children in chapter 9 which was your soil chapter you studied that soil is uh, the weather and the climate also affects the soil of a place whatever the weather and climate will be it will be having an impact on the type of the soil that is present in that particular place in standard 6 you have studied about the adaptation of the animals for certain habitat as an example of your adaptation of the animal to the climatic conditions so here we will discuss only the animals which are living in the polar as well as in the tropical rainforest so children as you know the tropical Uh, rain forest we will talk of and we will talk of the polar region so the polar region have very extremely cold climatic conditions these regions are covered with the snow for most of the year in winters here the temperature can dip to as low as minus 37 degree celsius to 
extreme climatic conditions so the animals living over here have specific adaptive features and to study that we will be studying about some of the animals which live in this polar region so some countries that belong to the polar region are canada greenland iceland and norway and even sweden finland alaska in usa and your siberian region of russia so children all these countries they are connect they are under your polar region and as you know your north and your south pole that also comes under your polar region so we will be talking of these countries and apart from that we will talk of the here you can see how the area how the places are filled with snow it is covered with the snow basically the entire year basically your penguins and your polar bears okay they are found in such regions so we will talk about them and we will discuss about them after that the comes your tropical rain forest so some of the countries where the tropical rain forest are found are india malaysia indonesia brazil republic of congo kenya uganda and nigeria children when we talk of your tropical region as i said the indian subcontinent lies in this region so here the summers are warm and winters and your winters they are very cool and the rains are moderate in this area this area is near the sea and between the mountains which receive abundant rainfall and have evergreen trees and the coastal forest that is your mangroves there is very less vegetation in the arid or in the desert region due to the intense heat and the shortage of water in the cool temperate region vegetation is adapted in the place to cope up with the cold dry climate in the warm temperate region the vegetation varies from the trees to the grasses and so in the tropical region we have all type of animals basically here which are found in these particular areas so we will be talking about the animals and the, uh, because this chapter is basically for your animals so we'll talk of the animals which are found in these tropical rainforest within children within the tropical rainforest since it is located near the equator so it has hot and wet climate so the summer temperature may rise up to 50 degrees whereas the when, uh, when we talk of winter it may come either get down to 15 to 20 degree celsius when we talk of the polar region here uh, the days are almost equal to the length throughout the year the tropical rain forest is the region where the dense war it which is dense warm and wet so there is plenty of vegetation as i said we have variety of animals in this area so here we find the animals such as your or we find here your lion tailed uh, tail macaw okay so these are some of the typical animals which we can find in these areas even we find red eyed tree frogs we find the and the bird called the toucan 
so we find the asian elephant so these are some of the elephants and the birds and the frogs which are found in these tropical forest region so we will talk about these in the next period so children today we talked about the climate and adaptation of the polar region and the tropical rainforest region so for you the assignment question what is adaptation and name the countries which comes under the polar region hope so you have understood about the climate and the adaptation so we'll talk about the polar region in and the animals which are found and what type of adaptive features do they have in the next session thank you sairam